Hi, I'm Arden Kirkland, and I'm very excited to welcome you to the Community Module. Nurturing a sense of community is one of the hardest tasks for an online instructor. So we've devoted a whole module to concepts and strategies about creating a sense of community for your learners. Week one is about a sense of community in online instruction. I'm going to introduce you to some research that shows us why a sense of community is so important and we'll reflect on our own experience with this, especially motivation to participate. In week two, the focus is on social participation, and you'll have the chance to try some new social media platforms and evaluate what you find. In week three, you'll start to develop a strategy for your community, for your own capstone project, with some exercises to help you refine your ID plan. Finally, in week four, the focus is on maintaining your community, with more exercises focused on how to keep your community going once you get it started. Here are the objectives for this module. You'll dip into some theory to recognize the characteristics of teaching presence, cognitive presence, and social presence. Then you'll have a chance to evaluate positive and negative factors in existing online educational communities. Another reflection will help you to identify the motivation for, or barriers to, community participation, your own and others. As a part of refining your ID plan, you will develop a strategy for activities that fit with your community members' motivation for participation. And how are we going to achieve those objectives? Well, much of this will follow the same format as other modules you may have already gone through, with lessons, challenge and reflection questions, workbook activities, and forum posts. However, in the spirit of fostering community, this module will have two activities that require you to work with at least one other person. Yes, I know for many of you this may be difficult. We've heard how much it helps for this program to be self-paced, and that may mean you can't easily identify others who are ready to do these activities at the same time as you. However, we're pushing you to face this challenge so you can be sure to experience firsthand what it's like to interact with others through online learning. So hopefully you will see not only how challenging it can be to arrange, but also how much it is worth it in the end. Do you remember in the orientation module how I encouraged you to find others to interact with as you go through this program? Well, if you haven't done that yet, now's the time. You may want to revisit my list of ideas in orientation for different ways to find a person to do this partner activity with. You can do it with a small group of three to five if a few of you are ready at the same time. Another tip, if the timing isn't quite right, go ahead and skip ahead to weeks three and four and come back to the activities in week one and two when your potential partner is available. For some of you, these partner activities will be a lot of fun. For others, they may be excruciating. Some of you might be surprised that your reaction is different than you expected. Remember, your personal learning style may be different from the person you partner with and will certainly be different from at least some of your eventual learners. That's why we're pushing you to move outside of your comfort zone here. If I can do it, so can you. I used to hate group work both in face-to-face -face and online settings. But the, over the years, I've come to value it so much that here I am making you do it. So one other quick note, you can do this module without having done the other previous modules in order, but there will be some references back to the previous modules. Similarly, even if you don't plan to go all the way through to your capstone project in this series, you do need to have a project in mind to apply your learning to your own library community. If you haven't done the foundation module, then you haven't written up a full instructional design plan for your project, but that's okay. 
As long as you have a project idea in mind, you can still go through the exercises in this module. This is a no judgment zone where we all get to experiment with these social tools, make mistakes, and help each other. So let's have some fun with it.